much longer are you gonna play the fool? I'm telling you, she's a ripe little melon just waiting to be picked. Look at her. Look at her over there, all lonely at that lonely little lemonade stand. Swagger over there and say, hey, babe, you, me, Saturday night, prom, be there, be square, huh? Give it a rest. All right, play it safe then. Walk over there and say, hi, uh, Sandy, I was wondering if you had a date for the prom. How hard can that be? You should talk. You don't have a date. Yeah, well, my periscope hasn't settled on a target yet. But it's obvious yours has. Asking a girl out is something I have to ease into. Otherwise, I'll scare her off. Shoot, Stan, the only one scared is you. No, I'm not scared. I'm cautious. There's a difference there. Cautious is for people with weak bladders. Stan, look at her. The time is now, okay? You have to claim that property now before some other sap will. Maybe tomorrow, okay? No, there's no more time. The prom is in three days. Stan, look, the cards are in your hand. The Joker is wild. Bet it all or fold, baby. Hi, Is everything on? Right. Hi, Sandy. Stan! Hi! Hi. How's hot dog business? Oh, great. Great. We're not too busy right now. Yeah, I know. Me neither. Uh, can I get a lemonade? Sure. So, are you gonna be taking summer school? No, I'm taking the summer off. There you go. Thanks. Uh, how much do I owe you? Do I owe you a buck? It's on the house. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe I can get a hot dog sometime. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, do you all want one right now? No, <laughs> no. Thanks. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, are, are we going to the... Hi. One large lemonade, lots of ice. <sighs> Sandy. Prom, you and me, Saturday night. To go? There you go. Oh, Sandy, would you like to do the prom with me? Saturday night. Stan. What? What are you doing? Uh, um. Are Are you going to be going to the prom by any chance? Nope. No. Nope. That's cool. I'd love to go. So, uh, I guess I'll see you around then? Yeah, I'll see you at school. Yeah, school. School, that's right. That's right, we go to school together. <sighs> well, has the eagle landed? Oh, yeah. It sure has. Cool. <laughs> she's really going to the prom with you. Well, she doesn't have anyone else to go with. Wow. The Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors set in motion a plan of action Thursday that could result in reductions in health services. And now, back to the studio with Bree Walker. Mr. Vaughn. In other news, the art world was rocked tonight. Ah, 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 Mr. Vaughn, please, please sit. Thank you. It's showing time. From the Los I think you'll find last night's newscast very enlightening. With us now, live from UCLA, is archaeology professor Dr. Rachel Richmond. Dr. Richmond, can you hear us? Yes, Bree, I'm here. Doctor, explain to us the significance of the ancient ring. The ancient rings of power were forged of solid gold as a pair. These rings have been officially ruled as priceless. One of the rings has been missing for over 800 years. However, its counterpart has been on display at the LA County Art Museum since 1963. Until tonight, that ring was stolen. Police believe that the theft was a solo operation which occurred earlier this evening. No arrests have been made. You did very well, Mr. Vaughn. Very pleased. Me too. <laughs> Perhaps you can be of service to me again someday. Perhaps. First, the ring. <laughs> 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 
The ring. Yes, the ring. Where is it? You mean this ring? <laughs> it's not funny, Mr. Long. Take it off. Well, I would, but it doesn't seem to want to come off. Little bugger seems to be stuck. Mr. Vaughn, take it off your finger. Or I'll have someone take your finger off. I suggest you honor your deal with Mr. Dereva. Well, I appreciate your concern, Mr. Mosh, but I've altered the deal. See, I'm going to keep the ring and take your money. I don't think so. I do. Thank you, Mr. Dereva. <laughs> doesn't seem to want you, does it? at the corner of Figueroa and 2nd. Suspect is heading east on 2nd. He said he'd send the devil for your soul or something along those lines. Kid's got a lot of nerve. First he double-crosses me, and now he threatens me. <laughs> that ring's supposed to have powers. That ring's worth a lot of money, stupid. He went through five of us like we weren't even there. He was wearing the ring. Give me a break, Mosh. Let me tell you what kind of power that ring has. $5.5 million. That's what I paid Raymond Vaughn in advance to steal it. And that's why he's holding out on me. There's nothing to do with this hocus-pocus voodoo nonsense. It's Chinese! Yeah, well, whatever it is. We'll find him again! We'll find him! You do that, Mosh. <laughs> Loser. 
why don't you just shut up? Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. I called Dr. Maxwell's, but they said the police had already been there. I know what you're thinking, but you must let me explain. They don't know what happened. The police don't. The doctors don't. They weren't there. I was there. I know. Everybody agrees on that, but they won't believe me. They won't understand. They won't listen. They won't let me go to trial. They think I'm crazy. Do you? Yes, Sharice, I do. No! No! No, 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 no! As God is my witness, I will prove my sanity. I'll prove it to you all. I'll prove I'm not mad! Ah! Too much? A little. It'll be there. Oh. Oh. So, did you get a date for the prom yet? I told you, Mom, I'm not going to the prom. Honey, how can you say that? You know, this is a very special time in your high school career. Well, I remember my first prom. Oh, it was one of the highlights of my life. Now that's scary. Look, there's a young girl in my acting class. Her name is Amulet. She's nice. She's very pretty. She's a wonderful actress. She's a Virgo. You'd be perfect together. No. Why not? Because I don't want to go. No, because he's afraid to ask someone. Honey, you don't have to be afraid to ask a girl out. No, but I'm afraid to ask what that is. I was trying something, huh? <laughs> Did you taste it? Okay, wise guys, you can pay for the pizza. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? I'm going to bed, sweetie. I have that audition in the morning. Okay, good luck. Thanks. Stan, promise me you'll ask at least one girl to the prom. Mom. Please. Okay, one. Maybe. Who are you fooling? I know you want to go. <sighs> good night, Mom. I'm out of here. One turn down won't be so bad. I will have your brother, and we will be complete. And together, we will reign. We will all reign supreme. Why do you insist on wasting my time? We have spent the whole year discussing the history of this nation. And I have given my services to your education. And what do I get in return? C minus. D.
B minus. D. And how many times must I tell you that the War of 1812 was in 1812? F. This is my favorite time of the year. We get to throw away all the homework they made us do for a whole year. I take great pleasure with every single tear. What the heck is this? I, I can't believe it. That's the fried egg sandwich I didn't finish at lunch. I thought I'd eat it later. Man, that was like a month ago. Sick. No, I can't believe I shared a locker with you for a whole year. Hey, that ain't as bad as Leon Crinkle. He used to put his dirty jock straps in his locker. So, did you finally decide where you're gonna take Sandy after the prom? After? Yeah, dork. What hotel? Hotel? Hotel! You gotta get her a hotel room. Oh, you, you can get a cheap room for... what, 20 bucks. It'll impress her. You think so? Hell yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. I love it, man. My pal Stan Dreyer's getting a hotel room with Sandy Applegate. Just make sure old Leon doesn't find out about it. What are you talking about? I think, you know, thought she broke up with him. Yeah. That doesn't mean that he broke up with her, though. before you ask somebody to prom. Leon, what are you doing? Get lost, Sandy. You betrayed me. What? Ugh. How could you go to prom with this loser? What are you talking about? I'm not going to prom with him. He didn't ask you to prom. No. You didn't ask her to prom. No. All right, then let this be a lesson, then! Nobody asked my girl to prom! I'm not your girl, Leon. We broke up, remember? Well, that's besides the point! Come on. You got lucky this time, Tom. You never asked her out. No. <laughs> Cowardice knows no boundaries. You know, it's a good thing I didn't. Otherwise, he might not have stopped. You know, that karate stuff you're taking is really paying off. <laughs> All right, class. This is a lesson in technique, speed, focus, control. Now, that's the end of class. I want everybody to make sure you're ready next week. We have testing for kata. Understand? Let's everybody get up and bow. Very nice. Dismissed. Very, very nice. Stan, I want to talk to you for a minute. Come over here. Stan, you have so much potential, but you're not using what you have. You lack confidence. Do you realize how good you could be if you believe in yourself? And you wouldn't be sporting that black eye, either. I have to leave. Just think about what I said, Stan.
place such power on a boy? Your vanity is surpassed only by your ignorance, Mr. Vaughn. <laughs> Give me the ring. You shall not have it. You will be defeated. Stay calm. Just remain calm, Stan. There's a perfectly logical reason why I'm standing here on the beach. Yes, but it is too simple for you to understand. Okay. I want an explanation, old man. The best explanation for all things is time. What? Now, what's that supposed to mean? Okay. Okay. Wake up, Stan. Just wake up.
helped, you know. But I did. Look. Just please tell me. There is an answer for every question. You will learn them all in their due time. From now, my body grows tired for the last time. Give, give me your hand. Boy, please, give me your hand. get you to a doctor. Open your eyes. I have been on this earth for 87 years. I am ready to leave. It's a red wire. lighter down here, dude. I need some you light. You gotta burn the dash. If you touch that, you're gonna get a shock if you touch that wire. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, man. Get that lighter down here. Uh. It's a red wire. Oh, here comes some little kid, man. <laughs> hey, guys. Mind getting out of my car? <laughs> Your car? We're sitting in it. Then to make it our car. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm tired. I've had a long night. I just want to go home, okay? <sighs> He's tired. I'm tired. It's late. And he just wants to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, man. We want to go home, too. So why don't you give us the keys, and we'll go home. Would you please get out of my car? He doesn't want to give us a key, man. Keys, man. I'll get the keys. <laughs> He's gonna get the keys. <laughs> <laughs>
is this your car? Oh, sorry, man. as a champion. Pay your respects. Stanley, do you know what time it is? Loser, you're missing magic key. Look, I'm sorry I'm late, okay? Stanley. I don't have any excuses. I just want to go to sleep, all right? Is that okay? Okay. Go check out your brother. Okay. Dip lips, where were you? Get out of my room. What's with the peanut butter? Get out! Thanks, oh, jeez, it. Okay, let go. How'd you do that? I don't know. Get out of my room. Okay, okay, chill. You up? You're waking up the entire neighborhood. You okay? Yeah, sorry. It's all right. What'd you do? Meet Freddy Krueger? It was so intense. Hmm? I was fighting all these ninjas at Culver Bridge. Mm -hmm. Ninjas at Culver Bridge. Oh. Well, it's only a dream. You know, after your father died, I had nightmares every night. Did they stop? Sure. As soon as I decided not to let them scare me anymore. <sighs> Easier said than done. You know, sweetheart, we have two choices in life, and we face them every day. To be or not to be. <sighs> hey, I'm serious here. You either are or you aren't. You do or you don't. And the world doesn't make those choices for you. I don't make those choices for you. Kids at school don't. The only one who decides who and what you are is you. To be or not to be, Stan. That's it. <laughs> hey, how'd that interview go today? Oh, well, after I signed three autographs, they said no one would accept Pigtail Peggy as a raving lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Who, who cares what they think? I know you can be a raven lunatic, Mom. That's all that matters. Thank you. <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. Good night, Mom. Sleep tight. Okay. Next question. What kind of tactics were used to gain freedom from the party conservatives? A political shift toward Western-style presidency and a cabinet system of government utilizing the properly elected People's Congress. Well, that's right. Next question. What was the result of the Sinatra Doctrine? Well, it replaced the Brezhnev Doctrine, so it was quite electrifying. Um, solidarity put Gorby to the test by demanding a dominant voice in Polish government. With little assistance in sight, Solidarity won stunning election victories over Poland. Reformers drove out communists, and free elections were set for 1990. The fresh winds of change have finally arrived. Any more questions? I don't know where you got your cheat sheet, but I want a copy. I have in my possession the graded results of the final written exam, and I say to you once more, why do you torment me with your blatant disregard of my educational services? F. D. C. I feel as if we had accomplished nothing during the past year except to fix your position as belligerent students and my position as an old windbag. A plus. D. Sandy, we dated for over four weeks. I mean, that's a month. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Could you hold your voice down, please, Leon? People are watching. Oh, come on! Look. Remember all the good times we had? Remember how you used to stay after school and watch my football practice? Remember all the beer parties? I remember sitting home on Friday nights while you went out with Rock and Gooby. I remember watching TV all day on weekends with your older brothers, who, by the way, are all pigs. How could you say that? They all went varsity. <laughs> Every one of them. Man, that sap doesn't know when to give up. Somebody ought to shove a jock strap in his mouth. I think I could do better than that. What? It's not gonna happen. Where are you going? Just think about it, man. That's all I'm saying. Excuse me one second, guys. Sandy, would you like to go to the prom with me? What? 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 Prom. You and me. You're dead meat drive. Oh, well, Leon, wait, wait, wait. Stan doesn't know what he's talking about. He's, uh... He's suffering delusions. He hasn't been himself lately. You gotta forgive him. I got one word for you, Graves. Move your butt, or I'll move it for you. Isn't that like eight words too many? Leon, no! Hey! That's a dryer! like a Cuisinart thing you did there. Jockstrap in the mouth is a bit extreme. <laughs> yeah! Speed and 
execution. That's what it's all about. I want you to remember, when you're performing breaks, it's dangerous. Speed and execution is very important. Don! Don! Pleasure to see you. Everybody, we have an honored guest today. Retired world kickboxing champion, Dom the Dragon Wilson. I want everybody to get up right now, quick. Courtesy bow, Dom the Dragon Wilson. Oops. Oops. Good to see you, Don. All righty, sit down. Johnson, stay up. Dryer, stay up. Johnson, I want you to be very, very careful with Dryer. He's only a green belt. You understand you're a black belt. Ready? Bow here. Ready? Bow to each other. Ready? Ready? Set. You did great. Your technique and strategy was right on the money. You also seem pretty sure of yourself. Set. All of a sudden, I have all this power and confidence. I mean, you saw me beat up that black belt. Yes, I did. But that was the easy part. What do you mean? Martial arts has more to do with mental toughness and more responsibility than does beating up black belts. <laughs> what are you talking about? You had a whole career of beating up people. No, I didn't. That was kickboxing. It was just a sport. I had the utmost respect for my opponents. It's true, you're good. And someday you might be a champion yourself. But remember, there's a responsibility that comes with your abilities. And it's the proper use of power that's important. Dude, are you, like, on steroids or something? What? Well, you kicked Leon's booty today in class. I mean, that's not like you. Nah, I've just been uh, working out, that's all. And what was that Einstein stuff in class today, huh? Been studying. No, 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 no. I don't buy it. You've been taken over by an alien life form, haven't you? Yeah, you have. You can tell me. It's OK. I'm your buddy. I was reading about it at the Inquirer. Excuse me. Stan? Sandy, hi, how are you? Can I talk to you a minute? Oh, yeah, sure. What? Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. I was thinking about what you asked me today, you know, about prom. Yeah? Yeah. And? Yes. Yes? Yes. <laughs> really? Really. Oh, that, that's, that's great. Great. So what are you doing right now? Right now? I was thinking if you're not doing anything, then maybe we could do something. Um, actually, right now, I'm not doing anything at all. Uh, Eric, you said that you could handle things alone? Alone? Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, you two kids, go play. Have a good time. Yeah, I'll <laughs> man these dogs myself. A dogs!
I can give you a ride to your car. Uh, thanks, but it's not far. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow night. Got your text running? <laughs> yep. Okay, so, uh, I'll see you soon. Stanley, isn't it? Oh, you can run, but you can. Well, you know. Hey, kid, remember me? The man of your dreams? You've got something I want, Stanley. Must we play these games? How's it hanging? Persistent little bugger, aren't you, Mosh? Actually, Mr. Vaughn, I am. Who are you? Pin C. Master Jung was my grandfather. He's the old man who stuck this on my finger. Why was I being chased? Where are we going? Stan, very soon. All your questions will be answered. We're here. What? Where are you going? Why did he put this ring on my finger? Surely you can do such a simple task as removing the ring. He's a chimpanzee. Yeah. Yeah, right. Are you all right? Yeah, fine. He hasn't been the same since my grandfather passed away. I'm a good boy, but not that good. You! You're dead! I'm alive. More alive than I have ever been. No. I saw you die. You're dead. Your fear is your weakness. Who are you? Master Jung. Who are you? What do you mean, who am I? I see you do not know either. I'm Stan Dreyer. Very good. We're off to a good start. Start? All right. Cool. Yeah. He fought with that man, that's what the report says. <laughs> Lieutenant Cabral, my son is anything but what you've just described. 
Well, what I described to you was attested to by a dozen different witnesses. They all saw Stan fighting with that man. How can a dozen different witnesses be wrong? Are you saying his mother is wrong? No, I'm saying his mother wasn't there to see it. He's 16. He's never been in a fight. Believe me, he's a good boy. We're off on the wrong foot here. That's my fault. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be pointing fingers here. I just need to assemble the facts of this case the best way I can. And to do that, I'm going to need your help. Sure. You mind if I ask you where your husband is? I'm a widow. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. So it's just you and your two sons? Mm-hmm. Is there something wrong with that? No, there's nothing wrong with that. Listen, I have my men out looking for Stan right now. If anything comes up... You'll call me. I'll call you. Can I ask you something? Yes. Are you... Yes, I am. I knew it. I grew up on that show. Hmm, so did I. I had such a crush on Pigtail Peggy back when I was eight years old. Do you mind if, if I get... What? Your autograph. Oh, sure. I'd say it's for my kids, but I don't have any kids. I wish you did, because then you'd understand how ridiculous these accusations are. Mr. Deriva, it won't come off. Use a knife. Ah, Raymond, welcome to the party. Mr. Marsh here is about to take what you owe me, and whatever else comes with it. I owe you nothing. I paid you, I gave you everything you asked for. And you served your purpose well. <laughs> You do have an ego, don't you? I would have played it straight with you, but you were the one who double-crossed me. Why? Because you are a fool, Mr. Dereva. And I would be a fool to follow you, and I can't have that now, can I? I would rather the boy have the ring than you. The boy? What boy? The boy with the other ring. Other ring? I don't have time to explain right now, Mr. Dereva, but... I'd like to make a new deal with you. <laughs> you think I'm stupid? No deal. Cut the finger. I think you like this deal. Quite simply, obey me or die. <laughs> Position one more time. Quite simply, obey me, or <laughs> I think you remember the rest. Victor! Please come. There you go. I think you make a fine example to your boys. What do you say? Work for me. Oh, I think you should have taken heed to Mr. Marsh's warnings. This ring does harbor power, power greater than you can imagine. And I wear it on my finger. You're the one chosen to carry the ring. What do you mean, I was chosen? You make it sound like the ring makes its own decisions. It does. The ring is a vessel, a key to the secrets and strengths each and every man holds within. It is a doorway to the power of the will. It selected you as its bearer. Why me, then? It is not for you to question. It is for you to accept. Okay, okay. So I'm going to pass this thing through my family for, let's say, the next 800 years. Only until the ring decides different. <laughs> I'm as baffled by its selection as you. But that is of no matter. What does matter is that you were chosen. Yeah. I'm the chosen one. It is time for us.
grandfather's not that great in the explanation department. My grandfather thinks that the best explanation for everything is... Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't tell me. Time. All right. Stan, listen to me. Long ago, a great emperor longed for strength. He entered a volcano. And three days later, he emerged with two matching rings. The rings of power. When he put these two rings on, the emperor became all powerful. But he misused his power, bringing death and misery to his whole village. And one day, the volcano erupted, destroying the emperor and his whole city. The only survivors were the two rings themselves. These rings must be split up and never again worn by the same man. And as bearer of this ring, it is your responsibility to uphold this commandment. Vaughn is in search of the other ring to abuse its power. You must make sure he never acquires it. Because if he does, neither you nor anyone will ever be safe again. Do you understand? Fishing. Heaven is different for everyone. For me, it is fishing. Last night I had a dream. Not a dream, boy. A vision. What do you think I should do about it? With the ring, you will experience power greater than ever imagined. Understanding it is like a seed. Nurture it, and it will grow. Oh, my. I'm totally late. I gotta go. I'm late for a date. Boy, wait! The ring brings you many strengths. But you will be strongest when you use your own true abilities. Okay, gentlemen. I'm gonna tell you a story of a wicked boy named Stan. Listen closely. You will all get to know him. Very shortly. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Stan Dreyer. Hi. Come on in. Thanks. I'm Gail, Sandy's Hi, mother. Nice to meet you. <laughs> well, I've heard so much about you. Sandy's so excited. Uh, you been driving long? Oh. 
Hi. Hi. Wow, you look great. Really? Yeah. <sighs> you both look wonderful. Uh, this is definitely a Kodak moment. I'll be right back. Sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, stand maybe a little closer. Uh, okay. Uh, no, uh, stand, put your arm around Sandy. Is that okay with you? Yeah. <laughs> That's good, okay, let me see. Uh, come on, you guys, you're going to a prom, not a funeral. Quite a dryer. May I come in? Oh, please. Thank you. My son, Stan, goes to school your with your daughter. Pigtail Peggy. Oh my God, Pigtail Peggy. I can't believe it's you. Yes, well, uh, anyway, you see, my son. You know, I have been a fan of yours since I was six years old. I wore my hair in pigtails until I was 17 because of you. <laughs> Great, I'm very flattered. Look, the reason I'm here. Do you remember that show when your hair got caught in that meat grinder? And, oh. This is Applegate. My son is missing. I found your daughter's name and address written down in his room. Missing? Yes. Well, I don't understand. He took my daughter to the prom. He what? actually at the prom and having a good time. Why? Because I came with you. Not that I didn't expect to come to the prom with you and have a good time, but... Well, yeah, because I didn't expect to come to the prom with you. Or to have fun. I just thought it'd be Leon's arm piece, you know? Boring! <laughs> I hope you're not bored with me. No. Are you? You know what I want.
what's going on. Sandy, leave. I think you have something that belongs to me, kid. Leave. Take him! Stanley, where have you been? What are these handcuffs doing on you? Handcuffs? Cool. Uh, what Sloan, are these handcuffs Sloan, doing on you? why don't hand? you take the camera show them where we keep the cookies around here? Your son was arrested tonight for the assault on 20 men. 20? <laughs> what is this, some kind of joke? Come on, take the cuffs off him. It's not a joke. He was just beginning to explain to me not only how he was able to beat up 20 men, but what he's doing in possession of a stolen ring that's now stuck on his finger. Well, Stanley, explain. The best explanation for all things is time. Well. There you go. Dr. Rachel Richmond, professor of archaeology. Oh, yes, yes, of course. I'm sorry, Lieutenant Caprell. Nice to meet you, and thank you for coming. There's the ring. Well, couldn't you at least have removed it from his finger? That's part of the problem. It isn't coming off. Doctor, would you excuse us for just a minute, please? Be gone. Be gone. You're of no use to me. Look, I may have to detain him possibly overnight. Well, you mean put him in jail? The ring is stolen property. It's not coming off of his finger. I can't let that leave the station. I don't believe this. Did you try butter? Would you please hold still, young man? It is your ring, isn't it? No, it is not. What do you mean? Lieutenant, may I use your telephone? What's the matter? It's the other ring. Other ring? What's going on? It's the missing twin ring. Thought to have been lost for over 800 years. Give me President Hathaway. ring's counterpart. A twin ring, when worn with the other, is said to make the wearer invincible.
Why the other ray? Has your son been suffering nightmares? Culver Bridge. Stay here. Hey, kid. So we meet again? Stanley, but they're not wearing the ring, are they? I guess it's just you and me. Wait, no! He has to do it himself. Come here, please. Yeah!
destroyed them. You fool. Stanley. Don't hurt me, Stanley, no. Please, I'm fragile, really. You lose. Yes, yes, I lose. I lose, Stanley. You're powerless, Vaughn. Yes. Yes. It is Vaughn, isn't it? is wanted in three countries for art theft. I think we found our ring thief. Jim. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, it looks like that about wraps it up. That hardly wraps it up. You've got a lot of explaining to do, mister. Well, Mom, the best explanation for all things. Don't even say it. Come on, let's go home. Oi! Power has always been within you. You defeated Vaughn with your own true abilities. You have fulfilled the destiny of the rings. I have come to the end of my journey. But Stanley, yours has just begun. <laughs>